So I'll tell you honestly, I wanted to start a YouTube channel for years and one thing that was stopping me the most was the fact that I had no proper equipment for it at all. I had no camera, no microphone, nothing. And not only I couldn't afford these things, I also had no idea how to use them, so I had no skills at all. And every YouTuber I've been watching was telling me that I absolutely need good quality equipment for starting a channel. But I'll tell you guys that you do not, because if you are excited about your videos, if you're inspired, if you know how you want to make them, and if you have nice ideas, then a good camera is not a necessity to start a YouTube channel, because it's obviously good to have one, it's absolutely nice to have one, but you can start even without it. I've started filming my first videos on iPhone 8, yes, you've heard me right, iPhone 8 and now it's <laughs> quite in a bad condition, I still have it. The most popular video of mine that gained more than 6 million views was filmed on that iPhone 8 and a lot of people subscribed to my channel during this period of time. Did I hate the quality of filming? Kinda yes. Was it uncomfortable and painful to edit these videos? Yes. <laughs> Uh, was I dreaming about the nice quality equipment? Absolutely yes, obviously. But my idea is that if equipment you have is the only thing that stops you from starting something new, trying something new, or just continuing with your work, learning new skills, then maybe it shouldn't stop you. Because let's be honest, I think many of you already have something better for your work than iPhone 8 for <laughs> making videos. So after several months of filming on iPhone 8, I was able to upgrade to iPhone 12 Pro Max and obviously I can show it to you from the side because I'm filming in it. <laughs> it's the only equipment uh, I have for filming, so the only option I have is to show it to you in the mirror. So. Yeah, I've been filming all of my videos on it for about a year already and it's been working really well. And in general, I think modern phones have incredible quality of filming and obviously it's not the same as professional camera, but I think it's quite enough to have a nice picture and also it's much easier to use than a camera. So I also have a small stabilizer for filming that I showed you, bad quality microphone and my laptop. This is all I have for filming and editing, literally everything I have. I also used to have a proper big tripod for filming and headphones for editing, but I lost them during our move and uh, for several months I've been working without them. So it's kind of not a big deal, but I hope to purchase them back soon <laughs> because it's not very comfortable without them. And I never have this aesthetically pleasing, cute setup for filming. So I usually don't show my behind the scenes because most of the time it just looks ridiculous. <laughs> and I also don't have a studio or any lighting, so I rely on our windows. And I can tell you that most of the time filming is not very comfortable because, for example, at the moment it's too hot in this area, uh, it's hard to film and our neighbor is doing something with his grass in the yard so it's very loud, I don't know if you can hear him. So yeah, I get usually very creative when I film my videos and I try to organize everything and use what I have so you'll get the best like picture and sounds I can provide at the moment with this equipment I have. So I'll show you how this <laughs> looks from the side. So I use uh, my stabilizer as a tripod at the moment and it's very small so I put a chair, this is the highest chair we have for Agatha, and um, books so to make it higher and also our microphone doesn't work well if it's attached to the like too close or to the body so i put it further but not like too far so usually i have to put it as close to me as i can so i use this horse because it's quite tall and i use some other stuff to make it even taller and closer to me when i sit and film that's how most of the time the setup looks doesn't matter uh, the location, it's usually something like weird like that. <laughs> Do I plan and want to get a nicer camera? Of course, yes. 
I want a back to picture, better sound, better quality, uh, easier editing <laughs> and of course I want a good quality professional equipment and I hope I will be able to purchase it in the future because it's always a process of learning and growing as a creator you want to make your work look more professional and just better quality but it's always a process you know it's not it doesn't happen immediately I think nowadays in the modern world we try to get everything immediately we want to have everything now and it's hard for us to wait for something so we get jealous and upset when we see that other people who have the same work or hobby have better equipment or better skills and we want everything immediately and sometimes it might stop us from achieving something from starting something but it's always a process like it's never it never comes immediately you you'll never have the best equipment and the best skills just when you start so i think it's always a process of growing and one day you will have your best equipment you will have the best skills and you will be like that particular person who now inspires you and who already has all of that that you are kind of jealous about i believe that something so simple as not having the best equipment uh, when it comes to your hobby or your work should never stop you from trying something new or achieving what you want you know filming for example on, for youtube and yeah i think it's it should never stop you you should never worry that you don't have this you know perfect setup as maybe other people have i think everybody has their own process of growing and learning and achieving something and purchasing better quality things so it takes time for everybody different amount of time but it takes time always i hope this video was encouraging i hope it was interesting for you to watch you've learned a little bit about behind the scene process of me making my videos so yeah i hope to see you in the next video guys bye bye